Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on cooling and dehumidification with the help of psychometric chart. So in this problem, we are going to find out what is the outlet state of moist air and cooling capacity of coil in terms of refrigeration. So first I will read what is the given problem. In a cooling application, moist air enters a refrigeration coil at the rate of 100 kg of dry air per minute at 35 degrees Celsius and 50% relative humidity. The apparatus dew point of coil is 5 degrees Celsius and bypass factor is 0 0.15. Determine outlet state of moist air and cooling capacity of coil in terms of refrigeration. So this was the given problem. So let us first understand what is the structure for this refrigeration coil. Now if we observe here at point 1 air entering the cooling coil is shown and at point 2 air leaving the cooling coil is there. Now from this given data in the problem we can understand that what is the condition of air when it is entering to the cooling coil. So it is given that the mass flow rate of air that is 100 kg per minute then the dry bulb temperature 35 degree Celsius and 50% relative humidity is given. So we have to write all this data for this point 1. That means we have to use here the suffix 1 for this data. Now at point 2 there is air leaving the cooling coil. Now in the problem it is given that the apparatus dew point. So apparatus dew point means in short we can write here ADP and that is equal to 5 degree Celsius. So what is this apparatus dew point? That is the effective surface temperature of the coil. So here it is shown that this is the coil and effective surface temperature of coil is 5 degree Celsius. So we will consider here the point 3 for the surface temperature of the coil. So ADP is equal to 5 degree Celsius and the bypass factor is also given that is equal to 0 0.15. Now from this problem we will write that what is the initial condition of air. That means what is the condition of air at point 1. MA that is mass flow rate 100 kg of dry air per minute. Then the relative humidity 5.1 is equal to 50% and dry bulb temperature TD1 is equal to 35 degree Celsius. Now what is the condition of air at coil? That means what is the condition of air at point 3? ADP that is the apparatus dew point 5 degree Celsius and bypass factor 0.15. Now we have to plot the point 1 and point 3 from the given data. So we will first plot the point 1. So dry bulb temperature 35 degrees Celsius. So if we observe here is the horizontal line and on this line we have to select the temperature of 35 degrees Celsius. And what is the relative humidity? 50%. Now if we observe these blue inclined lines indicate the relative humidity in percentage 20%, 40%, 60%. So this is the line with 50%. So we have to extend this 35 degree Celsius line up to this 50% relative humidity. And this point of intersection will give us the point 1. So here we have to select the point 1. Now how to select the point 3? So for this apparatus dew point is given that is 5 degree Celsius. So again we have to select the temperature of 5 degree Celsius on this dry bulb temperature that is given in degree Celsius. Now how to select this point 3? So when the apparatus dew point is given then we have to select the relative humidity is equal to 100%. So this is the line with relative humidity 100%. So this point of intersection that will give us the point 3. 
So remember that we have to take the relative humidity 100% for this ADP, that is the apparatus dew point. So this point one and point three are getting selected and we have to join these two points. Now we have to plot the point two. So how to find out this point two? So for that we have to first find out what is the dry bulb temperature at the point two. So what is the formula? So there is the formula for the bypass factor. So bypass factor means which is equal to TD2 minus ADP. That means dry bulb temperature at point 2 minus apparatus dew point divided by TD1, that is dry bulb temperature at point 1 minus ADP. So this is the formula. So when we put this value, that is 0 0.15, which is equal to TD2 minus 5 divided by 35 minus 5. So there is only one unknown term that is TD2. So we can calculate this which is equal to 9.5 degree Celsius. So we can plot here the point 2. So how to plot? So we have to take the temperature, the dry bulb temperature which is equal to 9.5 degree Celsius. And we have to extend this line up to this line joining 1 to 3. So here is the point of intersection and that point of intersection will give us the point 2. So what is the condition of or the outlet state of moisture? So we know that when air is leaving the coil, that is the outlet state of moisture. That is the means it is point 2. So what is the dry bulb temperature at this point 2? That is 9.5 degrees Celsius. And if we observe the relative humidity, so relative humidity at this point. So if we observe here is the 100%. So before that, this point is there. So we have to write the relative humidity is equal to 99%. So this is the answer for the first question. Now we have to compare this apparatus dew point and the dew point for this dew point temperature for this point one. So how to find out this dew point temperature for this point one. So here the wet bulb or saturation temperature is given in degree Celsius. So if we observe here the temperature 0, 5, 10. So along this inclined line, this temperature is given. So this temperature is also known as the dew point temperature. So how to find the dew point temperature for this point one? So we have to take one horizontal extension towards this inclined line. So when we extend this line from this point one in horizontal direction, then we will get here the dew point temperature. So this horizontal line, so from this temperature here is 25 degrees Celsius, 20 degrees Celsius. So from this temperature here, the horizontal line are getting extended. So if we observe from 20 degrees Celsius, this is the horizontal line from 25 degrees Celsius, this is the horizontal line. So we have to extend the line from this point because we want the dew point temperature for this point one. So parallel to this horizontal line, we have to extend this line and we have to measure the temperature at this point. So here the temperature is 23 degree Celsius. Now, what is the ADP? So in the question, it is given that ADP, that is apparatus dew point is 5 degrees Celsius and dew point temperature at point 1, that is when air is entering to the coil, it is 23 degrees Celsius. Now we have to compare these two temperatures and then we can conclude that what is this actual process. That means it is only cooling process or it is the process of cooling and dehumidification. So if we observe these two temperatures, the coil or the apparatus dew point that is ADP is less than the dew point temperature of entering air. 
therefore this is the process of cooling and dehumidification so we can conclude that this is the process of cooling also and dehumidification also when the adp is less than td1 that is dew point temperature of entering air so if we observe how to plot this cooling and dehumidification process so here the process 1 to 2 is known as cooling and dehumidification process so we can split this process into two parts so if i make here one vertical line passing through this point 1 and horizontal line passing through this point 2 there is the point of intersection we will say that this will be the point a now if we observe this process 1 to a then what is happening on this vertical line there is specific humidity so this specific humidity is getting decreased from this 1 to a so here the 1 to a indicates the dehumidification process and what is happening from this a to 2 so this is the horizontal line but if we observe the dry bulb temperature is getting decreased from this a to 2 so we can say that a to 2 is the cooling process now we have to plot the enthalpies at point 1 and at point 2 so if we observe here the enthalpy in kilojoule per kilogram of dry air is given along this line so we have to ex we have to take this point of intersection and make the parallel lines along this line so from point 1 also and from point 2 also i have made the parallel line projection with the help of orange line so what is h1 h1 is 81 kilojoule per kilogram of dry air and h2 is 28 kilojoule per kilogram of dry air now we will move for the second question that is the cooling capacity of the coil so what is the cooling capacity that is mass flow rate of air multiplied by the enthalpy difference that is h2 minus h1 so if we put this value 100 multiplied by 81 minus 28 then we will get 5300 kilojoule per minute now if we observe the question we have to calculate the cooling capacity of the coil in terms of refrigeration so we know that 1 ton of refrigeration which is equal to 210 kilojoule per minute so we have to divide it by 210 to convert it into the ton of refrigeration so what is the answer that is 25.24 tons of refrigeration so this is the answer